This is the hardest section for people um, probably to get. Right? Um, so when I talk about people talking about progress, um, activity and progress are not the same thing. Does everyone understand the difference? Sorry? Right, so you can do a lot of activity and not make any progress. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, when you say completed, does that mean, like, before you have the 20, 40, 60, does that mean I have to be at 100% in a project? Or if I get to the 20%, is that progress? Um, no, if that's a milestone, then you can say that's progress. Okay. Right? So, uh, you know, progress is I drafted my document and I sent it to Rob for comments. It's not done. <clears throat> but that's what I completed this week. That was what I set out to do, and that's what I did. Right, and you'll see some some ideas. Um, so I, it's really easy if you think of okay, what are some of the words it has to start with? Right. I completed this. Right. I drafted this. I implemented this. I approved this. Right. What are some of the words you really don't want to see? I worked on this. I worked on defining what our database strategy should be. Okay. Are we going to be done any time? How many more weeks are you going to be working on this? Did you work on it for a minute, an hour, 15 days? Started. I started this. I made progress on it. I thought about it. Now you think I'm kind of like, you know, these are all words that I have gotten and continue sometimes to get in status or in management reports from people who work for me. I mean, it sounds obvious, um, right, but this is not an accounting of your time. Right, so, in this case, you don't work for Rob, but even if you did work for Rob and you were employees, I don't really care that you, you know, attending a training on how to use the new voicemail system. It's not really progress. I mean, yeah, you did it. Or you met with the HR rep to sign up for the 401k, or, you know, I mean, I, this is not a justification of your time. Some people feel like, oh my god, if I only have one bullet in my product address, he's, my boss can think I'm not doing anything. Well, that's absurd. And it all depends on what that bullet is. <laughs> right, you know, got the Israelis and Palestinians to sign a peace agreement. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what else did you do? <laughs> you can take the rest of the week off. <laughs> but thinking this way of not what did I do this week, but what did I actually complete this week? And this will ultimately feed on itself because if you know that you have to report what you completed at the end of the week, then all through the week, you're going to drive yourself to actually complete things. So you don't have a big empty section when you write this at the end of the week. And you will find, trust me, that when you get to writing this, there will be weeks where you'll be like struggling to come up with something to put in this section. <laughs> And there'll be weeks where you'll have a whole bunch of things to put in this where you're like, oh my god, I'm putting too many things. No one's going to read all this. And you want to have more of those weeks than the first time. So wouldn't it be important as an employee and as a manager to understand that, a, to know that a blank progress section doesn't necessarily mean that the people didn't do anything. Is that correct? Yeah. So that that... that, but, I would, that but I would say to you that if you have a blank progress section... You probably didn't break down the task into manageable enough chunks that you can see that progress is being made. Okay. So I don't like having, for myself or my staff, something that will take four months and then they go into a dark hole and they come back four months later and they tell me whether it's done or not. So more often than not, it's not. I like having progress every week so I can tell we're on schedule, I can tell we're making progress, and so if there's a problem, I have time enough to react. So a good answer to, to blank progress 
consistent break, blank progress things is breaking your tasks into smaller chunks. Absolutely. So a pretty common thing that I run into, especially super early in the company, is that I think I've done everything that I can do and I'm putting down a small manageable task. I start to execute that task and I recognize some problem associated with that task that stops me from so, I, I mean, I know that I may be jumping ahead a little bit because you have a problem section, but how, how do I account for, I, I really made no progress because none of my progress metrics are finished, but I've discovered a whole bunch of important things that I need to discover in order to accomplish those. That counts as progress, or, you know, or am I doing a bad job writing my, my uh, metrics down? Look, I don't know if there's a science to this, but discovering, um, you know, that you need to do work that, could or could not be progress, right? I mean, sometimes if your job is, hey, it's my job to go and investigate our strategy for having an iPhone app. Um, so I spent a lot of time, and all I got was, okay, here's what it takes to have an iPhone app. So my progress was, I figured it out. I now know what the tasks are. I now know how big each task is. That's progress. If it's, you know, you're uh, supposed to write an essay and you wrote half of it and you now know that you write at a slower rate than you wrote, than you thought you write, that's not progress. I mean, it might be enlightening, but it's not progress. In my book, I mean, I'll call, I'll call this one uh, if I'm trying to document the process, because I'm trying to communicate that process to someone in the future, scan it, do whatever I need to do with that process. And the process of documenting the process process itself, I discovered the process is broken. And that changes the process. Right? That's a problem. Yeah. It's not progress. Okay. So progress doesn't happen until I work out those yeah. changes. So how many how many bullet points in my management before I actually progress? <laughs> <laughs> well you had one bullet in your progress section, if I recall. Oh, oh, I still suck. And, uh, <laughs> it was good. Actually, I thought your, your, your report was a terrific example of how to do this well. Um, I was expecting Worse. to um, get a whole <laughs> bunch of examples, uh, because it's been a long time since we've been together, but I was shocked at how well it was. But let me just... Um,